Hello professor, this is my lab six. It's gonna be for experiment one, Charles Law. It's gonna be the ideal gas law lab. So going through Nathan's section, we're gonna break down some of the things we're gonna need. So we're gonna need a thermometer for this, graph paper sheet. We're gonna need the 10 millimeter, 10 milliliter, correction, syringe with the cap. So over here, we got the syringe. We got our thermometer, crushed ice, pencil, water. Uh, I still got the styrofoam cup. Uh, I already did the experiment already. I figured this way it'd be easier just to explain the experiment a little bit. So not everybody's sitting there watching me break down over a certain amount of time, you know, watching ice melt. And I thought it would be a lot more imperative to kind of sit there and look into some of these volume and temperature plots uh, so going down into it this lab's all about exploring the relationship between tem temperature and volume as we we're talking about and we're going to connect this relationship to absolute zero so pretty much fill the syringe halfway with air have the cap on, record the volume. You can see here on the side, uh, it's set in milliliters and use a stopwatch. I can't show you that right now. I used my phone for the stopwatch. And then st handy dandy styrofoam cup. First, hot water from the sink. And then thermometer goes in the cup, goes through there. Oh, and I uh, forgot something real quick. Uh, the temperature in the air for 30 seconds. I also have a thermometer in the house, so we I was able to get room temperature twice, verify, past just doing that. Uh, and it'll be submerged for 30 seconds in the hot water. And this will then push down the piston till the plunger can't move any farther observe the new volume and this will go into table three this will also then happen with the crushed ice so let's get into the meat and potatoes the good stuff all right so let's get past the ordered pairs for the pre-work so we can kind of look into everything good all right here we have table one 27.5 Celsius was what we were I was getting for room temperature hot water 70 the ice water came up to about one degree and then a volume of 1.5 2.7 and 0 0.65 so going down we got our little graph uh, going through we can see a direct correlation through between each as it goes down. This is what I believe probably one of the most important things uh, when it comes to the increase. Uh, when the temperature of the gas is increased, the volume is increased. When the temperature is decreased, the volume is decreased. So the reason this happened is more energy is added and it causes a pressure and it, so because of this it increases the empty space in which the molecules have as they spread out farther which is what gases do uh, gases are known for having wide spaces in between their molecules so what ends up happening that reduces that volume is the molecules condense uh, when it comes to uh, the decrease in temperature there we are and because of that it reduces the space and reduces the volume so when it comes to absolute zero uh, using our stuff I think it's honestly due to Celsius uh, it was literally 100 errors or more when looking through and I described that there. I think the way to actually look closer 
and getting something like that with absolute zero and instead of Celsius to measure everything. Uh, and I think another good thing to go over is it's not possible to cool down a real gas to absolute zero. And the reason for this is also what I just described. Uh, with the gases, they have their own molecules, their own matter. No matter how much can you condense them, there's a certain point at which they won't go any farther. And they will hit a constant and they cannot decrease in volume any more than that. And then to, when heat's introduced, and then they'll increase the volume once more. Well, I'll see you in the next lab. And look forward to the next week of class. Have a great day.